Why are Americans so mad at China? I know why. I get a lot of hate comments on my videos from Americans and some Europeans because I show the truth about China, you know. I show them what China is actually like and for most of these Americans, it's quite confusing for them because all they know about China is from Western media that paints this negative picture of China and spreads lies upon lies about China. I mean, we all know about BBC's grey filter that they like to use when showing China. They even did it to me when they wrote an article about me. They made the trees grey behind me. Can you even believe that? And then when I called them out on it, they sneakily went back to the article and changed the picture to the original. Anyway, you can check out that full story in this video. Before we get started, I'd like to say a huge thank you to Surfshark VPN for sponsoring this video. Now more than ever, our internet reliance has been rapidly increasing from streaming our favorite shows to keeping in touch with our loved ones. And also our banking is mostly done online these days. We'd like to think that our information online is safe, but you never know when America is listening in on one of your calls. And so as our online footprint increases, so does our need for proper security. Surfshark is a VPN service that protects information by encrypting all the data that you send through the internet, keeping anyone unwanted from seeing it. Another great reason to use a VPN is because content from streaming services can be restricted based on what country you're in. With Surfshark, you can solve that problem by simply changing your location. And you can access a bunch of different libraries, for example, on Netflix or Disney+. Plus. So if you want both freedom and protection online, click the link in the description below. Surfshark are currently running an exclusive deal this month, an extra four months for Surfshark VPN plan, an extra five months for Surfshark One, and an extra six months for Surfshark One Plus. Use my special promo code, here we are, to get up to six additional months for free. Go and check it out now. Back to the video. So. As I was saying, that's all they know. This negative image of China that's been shown to them every day on Western media. They've never been to China and they don't plan to. So their opinion on China is not going to change. And that's okay, you know, that's, that's your opinion. You're entitled to your opinion. Nobody cares about your opinion. If you have no experience and are ill-informed, then who cares, you know? Opinions are like assholes. Everyone's got one. <laughs> I've been to America, Europe, the UK. I'm from the UK. I've seen the West with my own eyes. I've seen China with my own eyes too. It's uncomparable. Um, New York subway. It's, it's filthy, dirty, covered with rats, homeless people, criminals. People who push you onto the tracks, no barriers on the platform. Um, China's subway system in Shanghai, Beijing, Guangzhou, Chengdu, Shenzhen, Tianjin, Chongqing are far superior to anything America has or the UK has or Europe. And not only in these top tier cities, but in many other cities throughout China as well, in Wuhan, Hangzhou, Guiyang, Changsha, Harbin, Xi'an, Zhengzhou, Nanjing, Xianyang, Suzhou, Foshan, just to name a few. I mean, how can you argue with that? I'm not, I'm not making it up. Go and see for yourself. Go and see China with your own eyes. The US just doesn't have a very good public transport. And that's the truth. And sometimes the truth hurts. They don't want to hear it. They don't want to hear that China is better than them. That's all it is, really. It's the same with the homelessness problem. Many cities throughout America are teeming with homeless people. Go to a city in China, big or small, go to rural areas or wherever you want to go, 
you won't find any or it will be very, very, very difficult to find any. America's homelessness problem is out of control. They also have homeless war veterans. War veterans, can you believe that? Can you imagine fighting for your country and then they leave you homeless on the streets? That's what America does to its own citizens who fought for their country. Can you believe that? Safety. In America, in Europe, you can't just walk around at night and feel safe. For example, I recently went back to the UK and in my own hometown of Sheffield, which is supposedly considered one of the safest cities in the UK, there was a stabbing inside a shopping mall, inside Meadow Hall Shopping Centre the day before I went there. I mean, I, I don't, really, I don't want to be walking around in a shopping mall with my family and worrying about crime or my own family's safety. I mean, it's worse in America. How many shootings do you hear about in shopping malls? It's just, it's insane. Don't even think about anything like that happening in China. Uncomparable. In China, you can walk about on the streets anytime, 8 p.m., 10 p.m., 3 a.m., completely safe if you're a man or a woman. Um, so many foreigners, when they first come to China, that's one of the first things that they notice. Safety in China is just, it's on another level. It's uncomparable to the West. Um, look, don't get me wrong, China's not perfect, but they're trying to improve themselves every day, learn and work together with countries from around the world in a, in a peaceful manner and building a brighter future together with other countries uh, like the Belt and Road Initiative, for example. What's America doing for the world? Bombs, bombs, and, um, oh, there's one more thing. Um, oh yeah, more bombs. <laughs> Funding wars, supplying weapons. Meanwhile, their own people are homeless with a crumbling infrastructure. That's America for you. <laughs> Just look at where America spends most of their money and then take a look at where China spends most of their money. And there you will find your answer. One country is rising, the other is falling. It's simple, you know, most Americans are mad at China because China is doing better than them. It's, it's hard to take, you know, the, the, the truth hurts. Most Americans are jealous of what China has managed to do. That's it, really. It's not all Americans. Some are waking up and seeing the real China and seeing the truth. Um, look, I don't hate America. I don't hate any country. I love Trump. <laughs> Bring back Trump. Bring back Trump. He's gonna win, by the way. I don't hate any country. I want the whole world to succeed together. I'm just observing what I see. I'm telling you how it is. Don't shoot the messenger. I've also left links in the top comment of channels in which you can find out about the real China. Uh, so make sure you go and check them out. Uh, anyway, that is the end of this video. So I'm signing off, signing off.